Hi, and welcome to Laito. Today's video is going to be a continuation of the video that Matteo did on Wednesday, talking about four nights, the key, the keys of success, and touching a little bit of the background of the history of how they got here. But I want to focus in the business model. I want to talk about how a game that is free to play is generating $2 billion per year. Let's roll with the intro and let's go. Okay, so to understand how Epic Games and Fortnite um, had got here and create one of the most popular games in history, you have to understand that Epic Games um, has been creating uh, games for decades and decades having few titles that were very successful but most importantly the way they they survive and the way they generate they generate revenue this this past decades were charging royalties for their unreal engines so they had these muscles of building and developing games that we're gonna talk later it will gonna help to create Fortnite and to achieve this position nowadays. So, <clears throat> if, if we look at the similarities between the business model of Fortnite, which is a free-to-play game, and the way they, they, they offer their, their engine, they basically just run, uh, charge royalty, but they didn't and offered that at the beginning. At the beginning, they just sold the software. So if you wanted to use Unreal Engines to create your game, you had to pay for it. And then you didn't know if your game is going to be successful. So what the owner find out is that if they use, they let the people, the, the other studios to use their engine for free and then charge royalties for every game that they sold, they created a way successful business model that they had before. No, so that's gonna set the basis to Epic Game to have first a big muscle of developing games that it allowed them to create Fortnite in a really fast and agile way, and also that that financial stability that allowed them to launch the game for free. Another key factor, a few years ago, PUBG was the leader. They popularized this Battle Royale um, gameplay system. They, is, they didn't invent this. There were many games before that do this uh, the same. So what happened is that through the mind of the, of the founder of Epic Games and was a team, Back in the day, they were developing a diff completely different game, as Matteo mentioned in the video. And they saw an opportunity here in Battle Royale and they decided to win for it. Normally, when you have a leader in the market, you have a disadvantage of entry, you have a barrier to get to the market. But because Fortnite and Epic Games have this muscle, these Unreal Engines that they knew how to use like the best they were able to develop Fortnite in a really fast way. So that allowed them to arrive to the market and still have some room for them to assist. Then, if we, if we compare PUBG and Fortnite, beside the difference of the graphic and many of the details, they're basically selling very a similar experience now. But what happened with PUBG is uh, it's not free. You have to pay for it. So Fortnite, when they decided to launch the game, they knew that PUBG would got that first. But the game were free to play, completely free to play, and also across platform. What happened here is that Epic Games have this financial instability, selling the royalty of their Unreal Engines that allowed them to play in the long run. And Tencent games, that is a studio, the studio of developed PUBG didn't have that financial stability, so obviously they need to charge uh, the user to be able to keep um, producing and developing PUBG, no? Okay, so that's the background that allowed them to 
get to a really comfortable um, to a more comfortable place in the market and now the question is is this a free to play game everything is free and how they generate two billion dollars then well it is not a secret many other games like uh, Pokemon Go or and many others um, they they basically allow purchase in app or in the game in this case people that spend hours and hours playing Fortnite they sometimes here and there they spend a little bit in a skin and aesthetic items that do not affect the gameplay or do not create an advantage with the other but it's just an aesthetic, uh, an aesthetic item, something for yourself to customize it and to create a sense of exclusivity as well. One of the key here is that these items they have a um, limit period of time to buy, so they keep saying it. So if you want one certain item, you know that you have to purchase it now, or you might not have it never no so they create that exclusivity selling that exclusivity within the game and in the mind of the players okay so that, those words the the keys or the most important factor that allowed fortnite uh, to get to where it is now okay guys that's it for today uh, i hope you enjoy it i hope you learned something about uh, the gaming industry and how Fortnite is implemented the business model and maybe learn from, from, from that. That's it. See you on the next one. Bye.